Hi everybody, welcome to another video here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a funky fun graffiti outsider piece. Now I normally don't show how, to, how I do my outsider pieces, but I'm going to show you a little bit about what I do and how I incorporate my hands and my arm and my wrist, my fingers and all that into the piece. And also the use of these uh, wonderful waterproof markers, these solid markers here. And so these things are really awesome. You need to get a box of these. Um, I'm just going to show you the box now. I don't know what I did with it. Uh, anyways, uh, these nice secure markers here. They're really cool. Solidified paint. They're solidified. Okay, let's get started because this is going to probably take me longer than 12 minutes. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get a funky block here. Take the little lipstick cap off because they put a little cap on these. And we're going to start out with a, like a little hand, part of my hand. Here we go, use my hand. Doo -doo -doo. Isn't that cool? There we go. And then we're going to flip you off. <laughs> and we're going to go around the canvas. And we're going to do a peace sign. All right. Whole hand. Boom. Isn't that cool? Then the love symbol. <laughs> and then we'll just do thumbs up. Now we're going to turn these into funky characters. Do another piece of Marathi metal. There we go. Isn't that cool? Now, we're going to incorporate some of these dirty words I got. Funky. We're going to put the F word here. Yes, you never been know. And then a U. <laughs> And we're gonna put sexy. Then we're gonna put motherfucker. Yeah, let's do an eyeball. And a little lips. <laughs> Another eyeball. Rad. <laughs> Wild. Isn't that cool, guys? Freak. Sucker. Badass. Yeah, right, let's see another one we got here in the hood. Okay. And we got shot. Oh no, death. Look at this, it's already coming out cool. Let's get another little eyeball. We'll give it a little mouth, a little happy face. Let's kill that. And now we're gonna go ahead and get a uh, cruising. Cruising. There we go. Look at this. Gotta keep moving it around, guys. And thug. Thug. Oh, let's put thugs. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get gangsta. Gangsta. Isn't that cool? And then another two little eyeballs. And a little mustache. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's really wild. A little smiley face. Yeah, we'll do some little faces on these too. Open mouths like little ghosts. Little frowny faces. <laughs> Look at this guy. This is so cool. I'm gonna put like a 
another little happy face here. Another frowning face there. Kind of confused. Wild face there. Another dot there. Another little smiley face there. Right, we're going to put a hood wrap. Hood wrap. Alright, so we got kind of everything we want to incorporate in there. This is the fast little thing that I want to do here. Let's put the word dope right here. Man, I like the word dope. D O P E and sucker and then no hope. Okay, now I got tape on there if you notice. I put a little bit of masking tape on there. Well, we're going to do a little bit of a, we're going to do a couple of little washes here. We're going to use other colors too, so let's get some of these other colors. Incorporate the green, reds, orange, blues, that kind of stuff. So we just got to incorporate that in there and put love, hate, sad, crime. Look at that. Dead. Crazy. Look at that, guys. You know, lost. Okay, so we're with that blue. And then we're going to switch to this hot pink. Just put on there, lust. Sex. Me. Love. Look at that. We're going to put this word here. That's a nasty word. I'm not going to say it on there. Why not? Pussy. Okay, and here's another one. And then we'll put a gang. And then we'll put hood. My hood. And look at this one. We'll put lies. Lies. Nothing but lies. And then peeps. Peeps. You just got to start putting words out of your head. You know what I mean? And so we got like some pink, some blues, radical stuff going on there. Okay, now we're going to get open some colors here, guys. Doo -doo, and we're going to get some, get a, like a medium wash brush. We're just going to kind of make sure it's kind of watered down. Don't get it too thick. Look at that, kind of just. This brush over here. Oh, get a bigger brush. This brush is too small. Get a bigger brush, get more greens in there. Ooh, that's better. Incorporate colors. Look at that. Just gotta put lots of colors in there to make it pop, you know what I mean? That's what I like about these markers, they're waterproof, so you can just go right to town on them right away. You don't have to worry about them getting all washed off and anything. They, they, they cover a little while and they don't come off. Let's go over that tape. There's a reason I'm putting that tape there. See, look, look at that, guys. Now let's get another color here, nice sky blue. Let's incorporate that tone in there, too. Just kind of get it in there. And we'll water it down a little bit. And we'll peel some of that tape off. Peel some of that tape off. That's how I do some of these outsider pieces. They're not strange. That's how my thinking is. It's just real strange thinking. But I grew up doing this when I was a kid. I used to look at a lot of graffiti. Hanging around a lot, a lot of gangsters didn't hurt me at all. Still here. Creating wonderful art because of it they were a big inspiration to me when i was growing up as a kid and uh not all gang activity is bad you learn something from it because it's like a family sometimes and it became my family when i was a kid and uh sometimes gangs i'm not like uh saying they're all perfect or great but sometimes they are a place to a refuge place to go to when there's no one else around to help you and so like that like 
Now let's get some yellow, funky yellow into this. And we'll pull some more of that tape off. Now, I put the tape there because I want nice patterns of squareness to write other words in and stuff. So I'm just kind of doing that on purpose. And, the, and it takes little pieces away, which kind of is like our mind and our life. You know, little pieces start messing after we get older, start forgetting things. You know, it kind of reminds me of that. You know, so that's what I try to incorporate. And that's what I try to do here with my, when I do my works. And uh, I don't know anybody who does the work I do, or the type of work that I do, the way I do it. Um, let's get some more orange over here. Oh, see how I do this? It's just wonderful stuff. And let's get some uh, other uh, colors going on over here. On this corner, I like to mix the blues and the greens together. Okay, see that? It's wonderful stuff. I'll clean the brush out just a little bit. Let's grab a paper towel. And I don't care, I'll splatter it a little bit. Give it a wild kind of feel. I like the yellow, let's add more. You know, just gotta kind of find some open spots to have that yellow. So I'll pull all, all that off here in a minute. So there's some tape right here I want to get off. Uh -huh. And we'll get the we'll get another marker color. We'll get like a let's get a like a uh, green. And we'll put no, I like purple. Let's get purple. And we'll put the word help right here. Like H E L P. And then we'll put the word, so we'll put the word crime. Crime. And then we're going to get red, because we want to put some red, get some red paint out. Got to get some of those lips and eyeballs for them. Okay. Let's get some, let's get those lips and eyeballs filled in. Nice little pair of red lips there. And we got some little eyeballs we want red. They're all stoned. And I left one of them kind of like that on purpose. Okay. And just kind of do it with your finger. Use your hands. Use your hands. Just a little smiley face there. A little tongue mark. There we go. A little happy face there. Wherever you see smiles, had a little cherry color. Let's pull that tape off there. Yeah, that's a good word. We'll add that in there. We'll add the word smile in there with hot pink. <clears throat> like that. S-M-I-L-E. Smile. There we go. I guess we wrote smile in there. <clears throat> and now we're going to get a little bit of a darker blue way back here. And you got to be careful with this darker blue because it can get a little too strong. Water it down if you have to. And uh, like I said, I'm just going to kind of use it sparingly. And if, just in a few spots, just to kind of strengthen some areas. Like right here in the corners. Kind of make this other stuff contrast better. And then we'll put a, we'll kind of write some more stuff in there. Let's get this blue and write some more stuff in there. Let's try, how do you spell criminal war? <laughs> C-R-I. M I N A L criminal. Ooh, it's criminal. I like that. So I just find a random word that looks right and I throw it in. And let's dirty that. Let's dirty that up a little bit with some yellow right in this help area. There we go. Let's pull that tape off here. Ooh, see? Yeah. And then we'll put let's put the word jail. Let's get red. Let's put the word jail. J A I L. That was a weird jail, but that's okay. That's <laughs> like if I'm on crack jail, but it's jail. And then we'll put a money sign in there. Yeah. We'll get some more black. We'll put some money sign. Money signs. 
money sign. Let's pull this tape off now. There we go. And we'll put a money sign. Money sign. And then save. Save me. Save me. And we like the word help. We like the word help. So we'll put help. Help. And then we'll put peace. About no peace. No peace. Because there's no peace. Okay, no peace. Man, like I said, we'll incorporate just a little bit more blues in there. That's kind of. Where it needs to be. Try not to cover too many of your words. Let's put some more tape, pull more tape off of that. Yeah, look at that, guys. It's really coming out cool. And yeah, we'll put some more money sign there. Let's get some green in that money sign. Let's get some green. There we go. Green in that money sign. And now I'll put the word cool. Cool right here. C O O L. Cool. Look at that, guys. You see how it's coming out? Look at this. Now, that's what I do when I do outsider pieces. I use my hands, my mind, my thinking, my criminal background, <laughs> everything. Everything to incorporate. When you do this, you got to put yourself into this. When you're doing outsider pieces, graffiti pieces, you got to put your heart and your soul into this stuff. I mean, you know, get with it. Just kind of, you know, feel it and then kind of get with it, you know. You know, splatter some paint. Give it that... <clears throat> Give it that look, you know what I'm saying? That's where you get those drips and I'm kind of liking that. I'm gonna leave it because I don't want to mess it up and I don't want to ruin it. You don't want to incorporate too much. See if I left any tape in there anywhere. I think I got it all. And there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed how I do uh, outsider graffiti pieces. I used uh, incorporated my hands and my fingers and my heart, and my soul into this piece. And that's kind of what I do, you know, every time I create something, I come up with something new, something different. So try this at home if you can. Try to get inspired and try to do something cool and graffiti-like. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching.